Hey guys, it's Jamie. Um, what I'm actually going to show everybody today is how to change free SVG files to DXF files that you can actually cut on your Silhouette Cameo. Um, if you do not have the designer edition of the Cameo program, then you do know that you are not able to cut SVG files, which is a major inconvenience because there are so many of them out there that are free. Um, so. Um, the first tutorial that I'm going to do is going to be on Inkscape. Inkscape is a free vector program that you're able to download offline. Um, I will provide a link. Um, it's extremely easy to use, especially if all you're going to do is just open SVG and then you're just going to save it as a DXF file. So um, this is just how you're going to do it, all right? So um, I'm going to have Inkscape open and then you're going to go to File, Import. And then I'm going to find the SVG right here. So you just got a little E on it on an SVG document. And I'm going to go ahead and open that up. See the ball print? All right. And then we're going to go File, Save As. You're going to do a drop down. Now the drop down is going to say Desktop Cutting Plotter. It's an AutoCAD file, and that's going to be a .dxf file. And we're going to type in print DX. All right, we're going to press save. Um, I always do everything right on the desktop. It's a lot easier to find things that way. Um, a lot of folders, you can get everything lost once you cut it, then you can save it however you would like. Um, when you are going to go ahead and save it as a DXF, you are not going to change anything here. You're just going to press OK. All right, so it has saved it as a DXF. What I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize Inkscape. And then I'm going to open my Silhouette program. Um, I already have it open, save time. And you're going to go to File, Import to my library. And you're going to do AutoCAD interchange file. And you're going to click on the DXF file. It says dog print DXF. OK, you save it however you want to save it. I just usually just save away. Then you're going to go to your library and click on your DXF file. There it is. Um, you can then change it to be large or small, however you would like it. Uh, and then you're just going to send it to your to cut like it normally would. So um, it's really easy to do. It's a completely free solution. Um, you can do it with Illustrator as well. Illustrator is not a free program, but you can do a lot more with it as you're going to see in another tutorial that I'm actually going to do for you guys. Um, there's a lot more availability that you're able to do with it. Um, so if you're interested in seeing the Illustrator tutorial, I'm going to post it right after this one. All right. Bye.